Yes, and I, mean, I saw in the comments of Elizabeth's national selection that she was a little bit nervous of the vocals, but then I was like, I didn't hear the nerves. I think she nailed it. So anyway, let's see Swing It, who also came through to the finals with the song Provision. Let's see. Swing it, swing it, swing it, swing it, Maesten, swing it, Maesten. Let's see this one. I have not seen this. This is good evening, oh. ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the party. A nice touch with the sixties. Okay. Oh, I kind of like the old school vibe. Okay. I mean, there's nothing wrong with this song, but to me, this is not clearly not the winner. <laughs> If this win national selection from Norway, I would be shocked. But it's a fun song. And Norway can send those fun campy songs also. We all saw what happened with Joost. With Kano. They became fan favorites. Nice pop songs. A little bit kooky, but pop songs that became fan favorites. My parents would love this. I think my parents would love this, so don't underestimate this one because the old people who are 40 plus are gonna love this. And the kids. Did I see some Ukrainian earrings in there? I think I saw some Ukrainian earrings. Something with Ukraine, I think I saw. Hi. Yes, some. I mean, we are going way back to the sixties. Oh, it was not a Ukraine flag, it was a pride flag. Okay. I mean, to me, this was a fun entry and they staged this like I think they should have done it. And this was actually correct staging, very old school. Very 60s, you know, it felt like the 60s to me. And I think they staged this, but I was like, this is not the winner. <laughs> this to me is a song I would like, yeah, fine, you're in the finals, but you have no chance, and for God's sake, not to win this national selection. You might win. Why? Who knows? We have seen crazy things happen. We just saw what happened to Belgium. No one expected Gustav to win, and he won. So, anyway, we this year, all things can happen. You like his song? You tell me.